this is Sofia Martinez. I am so happy to be with all of you today. I wanted to talk about, um, you probably know by now that I, I, my soul shares with me different teachings that are like, um, you know, poetic things in a way, metaphors, metaphors, uh, nature comes a lot. I, um, I've shared in the past the story of the wasp. And so if you haven't watched that uh, video where I share that story, I invite you to do so because it's, it's beautiful. And, and hopefully you, you'll also receive the experience that I got, uh, that it was a beautiful message of your soul, how your soul feels about you. And on this video, so I'm just drinking my days early in the morning and um, I woke up feeling inspired to to share this story with you. And so whoever's listening, I, I am sure this is for you that you're needing this message and I'm happy to share it. So my name is Sophia. I am a woman empowerment coach and i i want to welcome you to this channel if you're new to the channel if you are been here before i want to thank you for being part of this community of this tribe and um as i say you know we grow together we learn together we evolve together we heal together i believe the power of of togetherness and connection in a container that that is meant to grow that is that is here to heal, that is here to evolve. Um, and there's magic that happens when when there, we are in circle in this way. And so let's dive in into the this story. I'm gonna invite you to just relax, to place your feet. If you have shoes, take your shoes off, just sit on your couch, get comfortable, make a cup of tea and just listen. And it's really, really short. It's not it's not um, something that is really long, but we're going to talk about it um, afterwards. And so I didn't remember I said this, but um, I said this in high school. I always been a philosophical person and I used to write a lot of poetry growing up. Poetry and creativity for me was a way of expressing my emotions, of learning to understand myself, and also understand, um, you know, my internal landscape, my my emotional landscape, growing up as a teenager. And so, I have you know pages and pages of poetry, and there was a way that I would speak sometimes um, like this to and um and so somebody reminding me you told me they said you told me when i was when you were young when we were in high school um that you said there's a moment that you stop you can stop the search and the person said why is this what do you mean well, the entire forest exists in the one tree. Let me repeat this. The entire forest exists in the one tree. I was like, oh my God, I said that when I was in high school. I was so wise. And then I started to understand that probably through the years, I, that makes different, you know, the layers of understanding become richer, just like the soil of the forest, just like the layers of a tree. The layers of understanding bring us a quality of richness to the experience, to understanding, to life, and so on. But this piece about there's a moment that you stop searching. You can you can spend your whole life searching the forest and going from tree to tree to tree to understand the forest. So you can stay in the one tree and understand the forest just as well. So what do I mean by this? The one tree 
you can apply it to many things in your life. You can, if you're searching outside yourself and believing that there's something outside yourself that we're gonna create meaning in your life, you may be searching your whole life because you're gonna find meaning everywhere you, you go searching for. Or you can stay and dive deep into the one tree and understand the forest through it. And that goes for you. You are the seed. You are a seed of light, of life. The seed that you are of humanity contains the forest of humanity. Your seed contains the potential of all of who you are. And there's a divine design that exists in you. The seed knows that is, I don't know, an oak tree or a rose or a cherry blossom or a cedar or an arbutus tree or an arrashan. I love the arrashanes in southern Argentina. Or an eucalyptus. I love also eucalyptus tree. It knows from the one seed, seed into the tree, all the information is there. Just as the universe from the one cell or just in your body from the one cell and multiplied. So everything, it's all the information is in the one seed. And yet there's a signature frequency of the eucalyptus. The eucalyptus tree is different from the arbutus tree, from the arrajan, even from a cactus tree. And it's re I'm being reminded about a different saying that it says the same thing. The whole universe exists in the first spoonful of soup. The whole universe exists in the first spoonful of soup. When you dive deep into the essence, the whole universe is there. Just like when you dive deep into the forest, the whole uh, into the tree, the whole forest is there. All the information is there. When you dive deep into your own being, your whole life is there. Your ancestors, the story of your ancestors exists within you in the memory of yourselves. The memory of humanity exists within yourselves. The memory of the evolution of planet Earth exists within you. Just as the memory and the evolution of the universe exist within you. If you look at, you know, the natal chart, I don't know if you have, uh, maybe if you haven't, maybe you don't know astrology, it doesn't matter, you don't have to know astrology for this story, to understand this story. Um, if you haven't got your natal chart, I invite you to get it done by someone. And so what is a, the purpose of astrology is that map, is that seed is that chart that the moment of your birth gets printed how the sky how the sky looked like at the moment of your birth is that divine um blueprint that of course you're gonna evolve into a whole tree so from that initial snap photograph you're gonna evolve you're gonna become the whole tree being part of a forest of humans <laughs> of human beings and how is the whole universe in you? Because you also possess the, the different frequencies of the planets that are part of this universe. The elements that are part of the universe are part of your body. The frequency of the divine creation exists in you. Who is thinking your thoughts? Who is beating your heart? what is the voice of within yourself who is understanding who is listening 
to the words I'm saying. What is translating this image that you see on your phone, on your computer, wherever you are listening through you, in you? So what is the purpose of this conversation? Whatever you are searching today, take just today to stop the search and turn around and look within. Get curious about your search. And for just today, be in the search of finding within yourself what you're looking for. Get curious. Why do I say get curious? Because curiosity brings a sense of enjoyment, <laughs> of pleasure, of openness, of flexibility, of not knowing. What are you going to find? It's like, oh, I'm curious about it. I don't know. But let's see. So turn around, stop the search, turn around and find yourself. Find that which you're looking for outside within you. And I assure you, yourself, you're, you will begin to find the whole forest, the whole universe inside of you. And that's where magic begins in you and through you. And let me be clear, I'm not saying that life is not to be out in the world. Of course it is. We're here. You're here to create, to express the signature that is you, that seed that is uniquely yours, that is uniquely you, unique and unrepeatable in the history of all humanity, in the history of all planet Earth. That's why you're here. And you're here at this time of planet Earth. Big things are happening right now. And so the fact that you're here is not random. You are meant to be you. And there's a process that we're going through of unlearning the conditionings that we have learned that says, don't be you. <laughs> don't follow your natural nature, sacred nature of who you are. First, it requires to go in and journey in the depth of your being. To become so intimate with who you are and knowing that you're in complete expansion and evolution throughout your life, for the rest of your life. In this form with your name and your history and yet you're a unique and repeatable being never lived before on planet earth and yet there is a design that exists within you and it is up to you to understand it and lock it and express it. So many of us want to be a, a rose when you're meant to be, I don't know, maybe an oak tree, maybe a pear tree, a fig tree and bear fruit, not flowers. And so in order to discover who you truly are, your sacred nature, it is needed to stop searching outside and go find yourself inwards. Find the forest within you in the one tree. And that goes externally as well, with people in your life as well.
I hope you have enjoyed this story. <laughs> I invite you to, to like the video if you enjoyed it and follow follow this channel and it helps the channel grow it helps the, the channel be available for more people as well and this these videos to be available for more people and um i send you a big love i um i will see you next time please share your comments share what has been coming up as you're hearing and listening if you haven't listened to the wasp video i invite you to do that and I send you a big love. Bye-bye.